Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using Bella Boulevard's The North Pole Collection. It's an adorable Christmas collection with lots of fun colors and images. The papers are only available in the 12 by 12 size, but I find the design still small enough to work for cards. I purchased at least one of each of the 12 by 12 sheets and a few of the designs I bought multiples, mostly to use for backgrounds on the card. I also purchased both of the ephemera packs. I have the icons and also the words. The icon pack has so many adorable images, perfect for making your Christmas cards or projects. And the ephemera word pack has a nice variety of sentiments. Some are perfect for cards and others I think work better for scrapbooking. So let's go ahead and get started with card design number one. I will be using some card sketches for inspiration. The first sketch is from Sketch Saturday. It's number 714. And if you are interested in any of the sketches I show in this video, I do share all of that information on my coordinating blog post. That link is provided in the description box below, or you can simply head over to christymarcotte.com. For my first card, I'm using some white shimmer cardstock for the background, layering it on some dark blue cardstock. Then I added the panel of adorable pattern paper with all of these cute little snowmen, there's snowflakes and trees. The opposite side of the snowman paper has a tone on tone tree design. So I decided to use that for the narrow strip on the left side of the card. I've already stamped and cut out the sentiment, cool holiday wishes. And this is from Jaded Blossom's Sweet Christmas Wishes set. I'll add one of the snowflake ephemera pieces right above the sentiment. Then to finish off the card, I'm adding some clear bling and this is just from my stash. So there is my finished card and I did end up making a total of six. Each card is a little bit different since they all feature a different snowflake above the sentiment. Now moving on to card design number two, one of my favorite patterns in the whole collection is this poinsettia paper with the pink background and pink hearts. Using the card layer die number two version B from Jaded Blossom, I cut out two of the diagonal strips. I used a grid tone on tone green paper. I've already stamped the sentiment Merry Christmas on one of those strips. And this sentiment is part of Jaded Blossom's Christmas sign stamp set. And if you are interested in any of the products I use in this video, I will have them all linked in the description box below. I'll be adding a scallop border underneath the Merry Christmas strip. I used another die from Jaded Blossom. This is part of their border die set. It's one of my favorites. I did put some double-sided tape on the back to adhere the border piece in place. Then I'll flip over that green strip, use my scissors to trim off the extra, since the scallop border is wider than that green diagonal strip. Before adhering that second green strip, I will put a scrap piece of cardstock on the very top, since I decided to overlap them just slightly. By having that strip of cardstock, it'll help keep everything nice and level. For a little bit of shine, I'm adding a Love From Lizzie peel off, I believe this is the olive green color in the pinstripe style. It matches perfectly with some of the greens on the pattern paper. I'll wrap those ends around the back, put some ATG tape on the back and layer this panel on some red cardstock. Then I'll add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. All of my cards in this video are American standard A2 size, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. Next, I'll add a scallop circle die cut. Decided to go with a darker pink to match the pink hearts on the pattern paper. And this fun scallop die is from Jaded Blossom. For an image on the card, I selected this adorable little polar bear holding a cup of cocoa. And I glued that ephemera piece down using liquid adhesive. I'll add a stitched banner die cut in the upper left hand corner. And this is another die from Jaded Blossom. It's part of their banner die set. To finish off the card, I'll add a couple of Love From Lizzie peel-offs on the banner in the upper left-hand corner. This is the pink holographic color in the mini circle style. Then for a final finishing touch, I'm adding a little bit of sparkle to the polar bear using a clear glitter brush. So there is my finished card, and I did make six using this design. 
They're all slightly different since I used a variety of ephemera images. For card design number three, I selected probably the busiest pattern paper in the whole collection. It's adorable though, since it has all the different Christmas icons. I'll add a wide strip of yellow and white polka dot paper. And for a little bit of sparkle, I'm using some more Love From Lizzie peel offs. This is the red holographic color in the pinstripe style. And I'm using the widest width. I'll wrap those ends around the back, layer this piece on some red cardstock, then I'll add my card front onto a card base. Since I will be covering up the center of the polka dot paper, I didn't need to use a full peel off strip across the card. On the bottom part, I added a scrap piece, and I did put them close together, but no one will know if I leave a little gap there. Next, I'll add a smaller panel of the green grid tone on tone pattern paper. And on top of that, I'll be adding a stitched tag die cut from Jaded Blossom. It's not quite long enough to go all the way across the card, so I'll snip it in half, put some liquid adhesive on the back and adhere it in place. So there will be a gap between those two pieces, but it'll all be covered up so no one will know that piece wasn't already long enough to go across the card. I'll add a scallop circle die cut from Jaded Blossom. I'm using some white cardstock, but I want to add a little bit of color. I'm using the Cumberbund ink color from Catherine Pooler and just putting a very light coat around the center. It doesn't have to be perfect since most of the circle will be covered up with an ephemera image. But adding that little bit of blue color does help the ephemera images pop against that white background, especially since some of the images I'll be using are Santa and his white beard would really blend into that white background. Then I'll adhere that circle in place using liquid adhesive. So now you can see that gap is all covered up. Next, I'll add one of the Santa ephemera pieces. He's very happy holding two different presents. For this sentiment, I've already stamped and cut this out. It's from Honeybee Stamps Jingle All The Way stamp set. Christmas is here bringing good cheer. I thought that was perfect with all the adorable Christmas images on this pattern paper. To finish off the card, I'll add some red sequins. These are from Spellbinders. It's their smooth disc sequin, so there isn't a hole in the center, which I really like. I'm using an embellishment wand to pick up the sequins, adding just a small drop of Barely Art liquid glue, then pressing them in place. I put two in the upper left-hand corner and three to the right of Santa. So there is my finished card, and again, I did make six using this design. All of the cards feature a different ephemera image. Three of the cards feature a Santa image, and the other three cards feature a snow globe image. And I love the little snow globe with the penguin on the inside. Now moving on to card design number four, and this is a very simple card design. I'm using a card sketch from Freshly Made Sketches. This is number 563. I have some red and white polka dot paper for the background adding this adorable paper that's covered with Rudolph and it has a light pink background. I'll layer both of those pieces on some red cardstock, put some ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. The sentiment for my card is from Jaded Blossom's Merry Christmas Nomi stamp set. I love this sentiment, believe in the magic of Christmas. There is a coordinating die set to cut out the sentiments, but for this card, I stamped it on a stitch circle die cut. Now on the card sketch, they have a smaller circle that's cut flush on the right side, so I will be changing that up a bit. And I really wanted that sentiment to pop a little more against the background, so I'm adding a banner cut out of red cardstock. I'll glue that down, then add the sentiment right on top. For a final finishing touch, I'll add some more Love From Lizzie peel offs. This is the pink iridescent glitter color in the mini star style. So there is my finished card and I did make six using this design. Since I'm using 12 by 12 paper, it's so easy to make multiples of the same card. For card design number five, the card sketch is from OWH. This is number 42. I selected two different pattern papers. Both feature lots of snowflakes. The colorful snowflake paper will go in the background layered on some dark blue cardstock. 
and the teal snowflake tone on tone paper will be the smaller panel where I'll add the images. And I did layer that on some teal cardstock. I'll put some ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Next, I'll adhere the teal snowflake pattern paper. At the bottom of that piece, I'll add a strip of white shimmer cardstock, and I've already cut a little hillside. Now I'll add several of the ephemera pieces to create a fun little snow scene. I have two trees, a skating polar bear, and an adorable pink bird wearing a Santa hat. The taller Christmas tree, I'll tuck the trunk behind the snowy hillside, and the smaller tree will be in front. The polar bear will go on the left side of the card and the little bird will go in front of the trees. Most of the pieces I'm gluing down using liquid adhesive. Some of them I also have some scrap cardstock pieces on the upper portion just to keep it level with that snowy hillside. For the little pink bird, I am popping it up using foam dimension. The sentiment is one of the ephemera word pieces and I did put some foam dimension on the back. It's a wonderful life. Then to finish off the card, I'll add a couple of glitter enamel dots in the upper left-hand corner. So there is my finished card, and I did make six using this design. This design was perfect to use up lots of the ephemera pieces. Bella Boulevard always has the cutest images in their collections. The critters are some of my favorites. They always have this adorable little penguin featured in their Christmas collections. I really didn't need any more Christmas cards at this point, but I couldn't resist this adorable collection from Bella Boulevard. Now here's another look at the 30 cards I made using Bella Boulevard's The North Pole Collection. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Bella Boulevard always has such fun collections. Their papers are only available in the 12 by 12 size, but the images are still small enough to use for card making. Now I only purchased the paper and the two ephemera packs, but there are lots of other items that go along with this collection. And I will add a link in the description box to the full North Pole collection if you wanna check out those other items. It's not too late if you still need to make some more Christmas cards. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.